Have you called Lachlan's youth offending officer? Not yet. He's my grandson. I should have reported him for breaking and entering into Eric's too, but if I do that, then we've got to think about Gabby. Well, we agreed to keep that between us. But this is different. This is pervy. I know, but if I tell them how he's behaved, they could lock him up. Well, we've got to do something. I was afraid to get in the shower this morning in case he was secretly filming me. Maybe it'd be safer if I went and stayed in a hotel until it's sorted. No, 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 no. There's no need. I'll tackle Lachlan about it today, and then we can decide how to proceed. What are you accusing him of now? Spying on Bernice. And before you jump to his defence, there's plenty of evidence. You can see the video on his laptop for yourself. I really don't want to get him into trouble, Chrissy. I just want it stopped. Lachlan hasn't done anything wrong. You've heard your dad. We've got evidence. Yeah, maybe, but it wasn't him that was filming you. It, it was me. Oi! Aaron didn't come home last night. Was he with you? Yeah, he slept on the sofa. Oh, right. And let me guess. You thought by keeping him out of my way, it would stop me from telling him the truth about your fake witness? I know nothing will stop you if you're determined, but I really wish you'd think about it a bit more. He finally believes we've got a chance in nailing Gordon. He seemed normal again. Do you really want to ruin that? Where are you going? I need to pick up some supplies. I'll come with you. No. Pearl's just popped to the cafe for breakfast. You need to be here to talk to her when she gets back. I don't think this is something we should be doing together. Well, you got us into this. You need to start trying to get us out of it. Right. I'm not sure evicting an old lady's going to help. Glad you've got so much compassion for her, because if you thought about my feelings half as much, we wouldn't be in this mess. Rona, I know all this is my fault, but maybe it would be better if I just admitted to it. What are you talking about? I could tell Pearl the atmosphere was because of me and that I'd had an affair, but we were working through it. And then Pearl could tell everybody in the pub, or we could save her the trouble by taking an advert in the courier to tell people what you've been doing behind my back. I don't want people laughing at me, and I don't want people's pity, and I certainly don't want the adoption panel finding out and changing their minds. I want you to take responsibility for what you've done and to deal with it. I knew you wanted to catch me out, but I didn't think you'd sink so low as to sticking in hidden cameras. Oh, don't take the moral high ground with me after the way you behave with Andy. I made a mistake, OK? It seems to me that you've made plenty. Last one ended up with three people dead. I thought we'd agreed to put the past behind us and to make a fresh start. Yeah, well, there's no point doing that until you see her for what she is. A gold-digging tart. I can't let you talk about my wife like that. Now, we've been over this. I thought you two were starting to get on. Yeah, well, I don't want to see you getting hurt. I, I, I'm only looking out for you because I care. Yes, well, I happen to care about him too. Yeah, about his money, you mean. Oh, you don't understand the first thing about our marriage. I know it was doomed before you even took your vows. Oh, well, you couldn't be more wrong. If I wanted to be the tart that you already think I am, your dad gave me permission. But I don't need it because we are happy as we are. Gave you permission? <laughs> What, what is she talking about, Dad? I know you stayed at Robert's. We had a few drinks, so I stayed over. Don't make it a big deal. It did look like you were having fun last night. I haven't seen that in a while. Hey, um, sorry. DS Wise is here. Oh, thanks, Mama. I heard about your running with Gordon. Just wanted to check you're OK. Fine, Tar. Good. Well, I've got some positive news. We've interviewed this new witness, and we think we've got enough to charge your father. But guess we're going to court then. We're going to have to ask you to move out. Move out? Well, I knew he'd have to make changes. But I didn't think I'd have to leave altogether. We just thought the new addition should have your room, really. I understand. I'm quite happy to move into the box room. Yeah, sorry, we're going to need that space as well for filing. Paddy, I don't believe this is about space. I think you're still angry with me because of my slip-up with the adoption panel. No, it, it really isn't, honestly. Right, well... When do you want me to go? 
as soon as possible if you can. Well, I wouldn't want to be in the way. Uh, and, and of course, I'd be happy to pay for a room at the B&B until you find somewhere a bit more permanent. That won't be necessary, Paddy. I am not a charity case. Well, can you manage the surgery without me this morning? Yeah, of course. Good. Well, I'd better start looking now, if you're that keen to get rid of me. I still have friends in the village. I'm sure one of them will take me in. I know you think you've been trying to help me. Maybe after the way Robert behaved, you think that all marriages are doomed. But Bernice and I, we know we can be happy together. All I'm asking of you is to give us the chance to try. Will you promise me at least that much, hmm? If that's what you want. <sighs> Thank you. Anything to add, Bernice? I just want to feel safe in my own home. So no more hidden cameras. No more honey traps, OK? You have my word. Good. Then I think we can put this whole unfortunate mess behind us. No, not, not yet. You said you'd give us a chance. Yes, and I will. When she's explained what she meant by you giving her permission. I, uh, I think it might be easiest if you... Leave me alone with my daughter for a few minutes, hmm? I put a few cards up in the other villages, you know, man and van. Oh, uh, Paddy, I heard from Pearl that uh, you and Rona are uh, getting a nursery together. If you need it decorating, I'm your man. Thanks, Zach. We're not really at that stage at the moment. That's a polite way of saying they're not going to use me. I'm sure Dan will understand if it takes us a while to get up to date with the rent. He's a decent bloke. No, that's exactly why I want to get it to them sooner. Him and Kerry have been so good to us. <sighs> and you're going to need more money for a divorce soon. No. Maybe it's down to me to find a job. When, when we talked a few weeks ago, you admitted that you and Mum weren't very physical. If this means what I think it does, you can't expect it to persuade me to like Bernice. It's not something I really want to discuss. I, uh, I just want to reassure you that Bernice is far from being a gold digger. In fact, she also had reservations about this marriage. I find that hard to believe. Well, as you know, I'm much older than she is and... <clears throat> ..less interested in the physical side. In fact, I was open enough to tell her that that need not form part of this marriage at all. I'm sorry, Dad. I have no wish to discuss your sex life with you any more than you do, but a marriage without it isn't really a marriage, is it? I think being in love is about more than that. I want to spend the rest of my life with Bernice. But, given the age difference, I wasn't sure that I could ask her to <clears throat> give that up forever. So you just said she could stray whenever she wanted? I was willing to, yes, as long as she was discreet, but <laughs> she didn't want to. And you believed her? Well, I was the one who suggested it, so she had no reason to lie. Yeah, maybe not, but... You would never have offered her this deal if you really loved her. You're wrong. If there's one thing I've learned in this life, it's that love isn't just about sex. But you and Mum had a perfectly normal marriage. Are you trying to tell me that you two had some sort of arrangement as well? I spoke to Edna, and she is more than happy for you to stay with us as long as you want. Oh, nice to think I've still got friends. I found these. Oh. They were taken last year, me and Leo. Oh. Do you know, I used to think of him as my last grandchild. I don't suppose I'd be seeing as much of him in the future. Edna was really angry about the way Paddy and Rona have treated you. So am I. 
Hi. I gather Paddy's spoken to you. She's coming to stay with us. We're really looking forward to the company. I'm sorry if it was a bit out of the blue. Well, I suppose you have to make room for your family. Pearl, I still think of you as family. Do you? Well, it doesn't feel like it. Sorry. Hey, I suppose you're really busy right now, aren't you? Something wrong? I just feel like I might be handling something very badly. I'm glad we finally got something to celebrate. So I answer. Thanks for not telling him. I couldn't. It's too late anyway. But we both know what will happen if your witness doesn't come through. I've tried to be honest with you. Can we change the subject now? No, I don't think so. It, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, wh where, where did Rebecca and I fit into this non-physical marriage? Your mother and I agreed that we wanted children right from the start. OK, so you had sex at least twice. No, I'm sorry, Dad, but I need to know. W was she allowed to have affairs the rest of the time? Did she? I never asked. Because you didn't care. Of course I cared. I loved your mother very much. Oh, you have a funny way of showing it. Well, I don't understand why anybody would go into a marriage like that and, and unless they were trying to prove something. What's that supposed to mean? What happened to you in prison was terrible. Nobody would blame you for not wanting to go back. Maybe, they, maybe that's why you got married. To prove that they turn you into a red-blooded heterosexual male. Don't be ridiculous. It was over 50 years ago. It's not illegal anymore. Have you always been gay? I don't know how you could even ask that question. You told me that you'd talk to your mother about our marriage. Surely you can see that if there'd been any truth in it, she would have known. Or maybe she was just too trusting. I know I was. I, mean, I, I thought Robert loved me until I found out he was having an affair with a man. Please don't start comparing me to that little snake. He betrayed you. I would never have done that to your mother. And no, I'm not gay. Don't you believe me? I don't know what to believe. I mean, it, if I'd asked Robert if he was gay when we got married, we, we both know that he would have denied it. But he was probably having affairs with other men from the start. Yes, of course he was. But the only person I'm having a relationship with is Bernice. Surely you can see the difference. Yeah, maybe if you didn't have the same arrangement with her that you had with Mum. I mean, maybe this is your way of hiding from the real you. It's certainly what I think Robert was doing. I mean, it's like my life's going around in some kind of hideous circle. You've got this all wrong, Chrissy. And I don't know how to prove it to you, because you just won't listen to reason when you're in this mood. Chrissy's been spying on us. Well, she was at the start, but I think she's backed off now. No, no. She got Lachlan to spy on us with hidden cameras. Lawrence found the videos on his laptop yesterday. Yesterday? And it definitely was not Lachlan. She admitted it. Whatever she says or does, she's always going to be the apple of his eye. If it comes to a choice between her or me, she's always going to win. I can't believe I tried to defend her the other day. I thought she was backing off. Wasn't much sign of that. We're supposed to be saving money. We shouldn't be wasting it in here. Sometimes you have to speculate to accumulate. Hmm. Well, if you're talking about Chaz, mm. I don't think she's going to give either of us a job. There are other opportunities. Mm. Hey, let me get you a drink, Sam. Oh, no, you're all right. Get me on. Quite like a place, Chaz. Coming up. Uh, I've heard that you've had some trouble with poachers up at home farm. Now, I was thinking, maybe I could help you dealing with them. Are oh, you talking to the wrong bloke? It's Andy who's sorting all that. I don't think you're on duty till tonight. I had to come in to pick up a few things. I'm glad I did after what I've just heard. Be 
Before I start, I ought to ask, are you filming this conversation? Oh, I see. But needs got to you first. I suppose she's been telling you what a terrible woman I am. Well, can you blame her after what you did? I was just trying to protect my dad. Maybe it's you he needs protecting from. Look, whatever Benice has told you, you only know half the story. Don't try and justify this. When will you learn that just because you've got money and a big house, it doesn't mean you can play with people's lives like that? Yeah, OK, I handled it wrong. But at least let me try and explain what I'm going through. I don't want to hear it, cos all you can ever think about is your feelings. You don't care what happens to anybody else. You can tell your dad I'm sorry, but I can't work here anymore. You can have your cottage back as well. You don't have to go. Thanks. But I don't really fancy living in a house rigged with cameras. I've taken them all down here. I promise, Bernice, no more spying, no more filming you. Please don't move out because of this. I have to. I can't trust people like you. And I don't want to spend another day in a place like this. So what's business with Pearl? Oh, oh, none of it's her fault. She's just been caught in the crossfire. I thought everything was going so well. What's wrong? <sighs> just about everything. I mean, Anna, I know you're stressed about the adoption panel, but... You seem to sail through it. You got the result you wanted. Yeah, the result that I wanted. But I don't think Paddy's heart's really in it. What? He's always seemed just as keen as you. Yeah, that's what I used to think. But maybe he was just humouring me, you know? Telling me what he thought I wanted to hear. Why would he do that? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person there. I've realised that I don't really know what makes Paddy tick anymore. Maybe I never did. Has something happened between you two? Nothing that I want to talk about. Andy didn't look happy just now. Something happened? He's resigned. Still, you didn't really want him in the first place. Oh, but he's a good worker. Why would he decide to leave? Because Bernice told him about the cameras. But before he left, he took great pleasure in telling me what a rich, spoiled cow I am, so I'm sure you and Bernice would agree. I think you've handled this badly, yes. But, uh, God. I'm sorry I got angry before. I suppose I resented the questions you were asking me. I'm just trying to understand it all. Look, it's really very simple. Your mother was the best thing that ever happened to me. She changed my life. We were very happy together. I thought you knew that. It's what I've always believed. But you can't blame me for starting to have doubts. Forget about the doubts. I loved your mother, your mother loved me, and we both loved you and Rebecca. That's all that really matters, isn't it? I wish you'd tell me what this is really about. Oh, come on, we've talked enough about me. Tell me how you're doing. Well, um... I guess... When you look at what Laurel and Ashley are facing, doing pretty well as a single dad. You know, I'm happy. Which is just as well as I'm obviously useless at relationships. Of course you're not. There are plenty of women that would bite your hand yeah, off. Yeah, I seem to remember you saying that before and I'm still waiting. And I hate to remind you, but you dumped me yourself. <gasps> well, maybe I got it wrong. Oh, come on, we've both know you don't mean that. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Do you ever look back to the crossroads in your life and... Wonder if you made the wrong choices. Well, um, I don't have crossroads, really. I just have dead ends. But you must sometimes wonder how things might have been if we'd have stayed together. Yeah, I used to. But in the end, I had to face the fact that you decided Paddy was better for you than me. And you were right. What makes you think that? Well, I'm just a pub chef with a lot of crazy dreams that never come off. And uh, he's a professional, you know, with a good career and a much healthier bank balance. <laughs> Do you really think that's what matters to me? Marlon, it's what someone has in their heart that counts, isn't it? Yes, you made me laugh. A lot. But you were also kind. And loving. And I just realised that... letting you go... May have been the biggest mistake of my life. I'm sure we've both said things that we regret, so... Hey, let's make that fresh start right now. I've given 
my word, I won't interfere with you and Bernice again. Then, after a few months, we can look back and be glad that we pulled back from the brink. I hope so, too. Trouble is, I, I can't stop myself going back a bit further than that. What do you mean? I don't think I ever understood what went on with you and Mum. Don't go there, Chrissy. Why? Look, I told you everything you need to know. Hmm? You see, that's what's worrying me. There's so many things that we're not allowed to talk about. Sometimes it feels like my whole life has been based on lies. <laughs> You said that you never asked if Mum took advantage of your arrangement. So if you two were only intimate to have children, then, um... There's a possibility there was somebody else at the same time. <sighs> Neither of us can be sure that you are even my real dad. Next tonight, our documentary continues. It's The Inspectors Are Coming. Then in half an hour, astronaut Tim Peake joins the team on explosively entertaining new It's Not Rocket Science. And watch Davina meet lizards and lions in Namibia, life at the extremes on the ITV hub.